Oh, I also start my streams with this song. There he goes, there he goes. The important element. Actually, yeah. let's have them originate from her forehead. I haven't done it before. Meant to be. Hey, Bill. Hey, friend. Where would it go? Uh, let's figure out the shape. Ooh. Vito, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Good day to you, Vito. All right, this is like just, I think the best shape I can ever come up with really. Uh, where would it connect though? Probably like somewhere here. Mm. I don't like how massive it is though. I feel like she would have had a uh, 
trouble moving her head around. I like always have trouble with this angle. Which perhaps is good that I'm that I'm practicing more on this. Elizy. Perhaps we do this one's fin. Like all the ones I've done before were like ultra thick.
right now. Does it? That's just a sketch. That is just a quick one moment for me. Like the previous page, I think I fill it up. I'll, I intend to post it like this. Time to get a new one going. And after that, uh, we are either working on the Dragon Girl again, or uh, like there is another piece that I'm currently working on. After that, there is a piece for your friend, and then we're done. And then it's time to start on working on new commissions. list is still pretty full. I mean, it's uh, it's the same uh, as it's been for like a month already. It is just I'm trying to get stuff done and it really takes a lot of time, really. It's finally coming to an end, though. Like the Dragon Girl and the... Perhaps I should do less sketches today and just focus on commission more. We'll see. I mean, I can like start a new commission, but what's the what's the purpose? I'll still have to finish those ones as well, dude. I will r really never take more than like three commissions at a time. I've gotten like seven or what was it, six? That is just intense. It just weighs on you. <laughs> Definitely, it just, it, it, it literally serves no purpose, it just, you know, more, more weight on your shoulders, that's it. More stressful for no reason. It's nice to have more than one to work on at a time, just because if, like, you're waiting for a feedback from a, from a guy, um, or, like, you don't feel like just like working on a certain piece and you jump to another one. It can be a good thing, but like seven of them. <laughs> yeah, and also, yeah, your friend uh, told me to come down on the on the armor. They told me to just follow the reference, which is sad, but well, I guess. I've been warned. <laughs> You've warned me. Yeah. Well, we'll see if I uh, can bring some fun elements into that piece. They can't decide on the form here. Ooh, perhaps I can do like different branches and stuff.
it is just always important for me to find like something fun to um to incorporate in a piece like something what's mine something what's like was my idea and uh you know it was like an interesting armor redesign perhaps for, for that one and now i just don't know like probably that uh it, it keeps me uh, from like jumping jumping into that piece right now Although perhaps I can do something fun with color. There's like always a possibility. Color is just such a playground for artists. Like if your piece, I did so much with uh, with color, really. That keep kept me entertained. Although I can understand why people would like not want the craziness in their <laughs> in their commissions. Um, I don't even know if I like it or not. It's not even about designing. It's about like having something fun to to, to like to entertain me while I work on a piece. <laughs> I don't know. It's weird as it might sound. Like that's a commission work. Why why do you want to be entertained? But that's like I don't know. In my opinion, it's literally how you do a better job as an artist. Like, the more you enjoy it yourself, the better it comes out. Perhaps it's me. It's me being... being weird. Like, to be honest with you, I don't even know many... many other artists' approaches to work. I don't really have much art friends. Produces better work and motivates artists more. Yeah, definitely. Although, like, I don't hear people talking about it much. I mean, yeah, like, being motivated is good, but how do you motivate yourself kind of, like, on a on an hourly basis? Like, how do you keep working on a piece? Really, people uh, like art... YouTubers and art content creators, they don't really talk about the, like, freelance artist life, really. They're even more talking about beginners or uh, professionals. And those are, like, two extremes, really. I think there are a lot of intermediate artists like me who are just trying to understand, uh, trying to understand stuff, and also, like, trying to perhaps understand yourself how like you why and how you behave while working on stuff yeah that's a good thing for you to do view I think it also uh, revolves around artists' mindset a lot. So if they don't enjoy it, and it can literally uh, have nothing to do with you, it can do can have only to do with them themselves. And really, I think it's not for a commissioner to really kind of think about that stuff. I think it's about artists to take care of it. Do 
Dude, I'm doing the same haircut again. Like... I just can't be stopped. The... <laughs> I guess it's the only haircut I enjoy. This is what all girls should get, the haircut. Good to be a nice customer in general. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, creates a positive environment. You can also tell and I know who the commission is. Yeah. Well, it's definitely uh, like a relationship between the artist and the commissioner. It's not all about the like the art itself. It's also like a lot of it is a human to human interaction, really. Which is actually like a lot of thing in life, if you think about it. Like, even stuff which is grounded in law is also, for the most part, can, you know, being decided by people on like human-to-human -human interaction level. Wait, do you want to draw a hugest booba ever? I'm not even sure. I'm like not as good at it at all. So perhaps only a beast like that. Still, I, I don't like the connection from her neck to her, her chin. It is just not there yet. Mm. 
Hey, Benny. Hey, cow. Oh, uh, I'm doing. I'm doing good. Quite ex quite excited today. I just mainly just want to do more sketches. Really, <laughs> those are just so exciting for me. I also have a lot of fun stuff I want to experiment with. Hey, Gio. Want to sketch some? Awesome, awesome. Glad to hear that. Although I feel like sticking horns to every single girl portrait is kind of kind of generic for my part. We'll see though. Does it ever get old? It probably does. Well, I mean, to be honest, like, nowadays with, like, the amount of creators you have, really, like, if you even do the same... the same stuff over and over again, it's only better, because you'll be known by that. And, uh, trying to be... diverse in your craft is, uh... I don't know. I think it's uh, like if you only had like one person to watch, um, then yeah, I understand that. Like if you only have a one, TV, um, yeah, like one broadcast, you would want for it to be diverse and like interesting. But if you have millions of those and you're in the mood for a certain thing, it'd be better if there was a guy who does this certain thing. Eric the Orning guy, <laughs> yeah, Orning guy. Yeah, perhaps I can be the Horning guy. I don't like that, dude. Faces are difficult after all. Like, oh, it's the facial expression that's giving me a hard time. For some reason she just looks old. Well, like, not old, but... Uh, like, quite angular. Doesn't look as young as I would want for her. Yeah, perhaps it's... Yeah, those are cheeks. If a girl looks older, it's almost always cheeks. to be able to draw a face with expressions right now I can only draw a closed mouth uh, make every face every face the same dude same actually the same that is what I also feel that's why I'm putting myself for this struggle right now it's difficult though especially the mouth area Your facial expression, the fucking, the open one. <laughs> XD. I don't like it really, how he does it as well. Like, even in his own uh, representation, I don't like it. 
like it looked fine to me until someone pointed out that you know it looks off and then i just can't unsee it it really almost never works even on his drawings it works sometime but n not even most of the time you like it all right uh i can do i can show you the painting that really broke it for me. This one. Just just look at her. I don't like it. This is so unnatural. I mean, here it looks fine. It's way too big. It's also... It looks like it doesn't affect the chin at all. That is a bit too much. I mean, yeah. I mean, not like I'm somebody to judge someone else's facial expressions, but, you know, can still kind of have your own opinion on it. It's part of his realization, but... The teacher think that it's a bit too much? Dude. No. <laughs> it's the mouth. It's not the... No tits. Tits are just never enough. Curry, yeah, it is uh, EO58. How do calicles go? Actually, I need a reminder for those. Uh, yeah, so those go around and like this. Okay. I've never had problems with those, honestly, but people complain that those are difficult for them. I don't know. It's also um, kind of good to understand that the shoulder does not originate from those. Like the hand connects actually, you know, in a separate place. Dude, it's good to feel like your knowledge piled, piling up on, on itself. I remember starting out, it was so complicated. There's just so much to learn at once. It's uh, it was really depressing and overwhelming at times. The question is, like, how do I remember this? Like, how do I do the expression now so I can, you know, so I actually learn it and I'm able to use it later? That's the, the good question to ask myself.
Because it's not only about doing this specific drawing, it's about being able to do it again later on. I also, I've seen the um, this thing where they had um, the highlight on the eye kind of coming on top on the eyelid. Really like that effect. How should I end this? Like, would be actually like doing this uh, cringy looking bone tailbone, or what's the name for it? Uh, does anybody know? Any anatomy expert knowledge in the, in the chat? Anatomy knowledge experts. Tailbone, awesome. Oh, it appears to be that I'm a knowledge expert as well. Uh, what a happy coincidence. It looks like an ear, really, like a free ear. There, so it looks quite cute if you ask me. Much smaller than that? Dude, who are you to tell me? But actually, yeah, good call. <laughs> good call. Although it's quite huge, though, like on the skeleton. Uh, or perhaps it's a, it appears to be that way. Perhaps... Uh... Alright. So is it like... The size of uh, of one's little spine. I mean, it's bigger. I guess it's the same on the on the base of it. All right. Okay. Thank you. Size was size of a small one. Hmm, to me it looks like it's the size of a not that of a small one. I mean they are kind of larger to the to the base of your spine. Apparently it it kept getting smaller as we went through the evolution. Yeah, it did. I mean, mm, I wonder what would human evolve into. Would they even do that though? I think hasn't the evolution really like stopped just because uh, there is no natural selection going on really right now? It's like people who survive are not not the ones who. First of all, uh, I think if the population is just so huge, like wouldn't the kind of the evolution Stop them. And also, I think, like, since, um, how, do I, how should I put it? It's not like the best biological human survives more. It's really like everybody really survives. And like the... The individual who is possibly having the right mutation to to continue on might not have a kid just because they are, like, I don't know, child-free or something, or they're vegan. Too early of those type of questions. Too early in the day. <laughs> well, yeah, probably. Cold chills, thank you for the follow, welcome, welcome.
In the future, the average level of attractiveness will be much higher. Why so? Average level of attractiveness? Um, Alright. Good thing that I am now and I don't have to compete with attractive uh, humans. Hey, Cold Chills, how are you doing? We are doing some crazy... Crazy sketches today. No one was kin kids with ugly people. Ugly people. Uh, that is kind of the opposite, though. Like, do you know how, like, the um, the more wealthy you are, uh, Chronoman free. Thank you for the follow. Like the people actually, uh, you know. Population is higher in like third world countries, and those people I don't think they are choosing based on appeal. They're just trying to survive up there, like spawning as much kids as possible, and I don't know, working on the farm. And people in Europe and shit like who are actually like wealthy and attractive, they don't really want kids anymore. I mean that seems to be like the common thing. Like, if they do want, they only want one to have a good future for it. Not like ten, where you would have it on the farm. But the, the theory that you have is... Uh, I mean, I agree. Sounds kinda based. Or like the smaller one, I kinda don't like the shape. What if we don't even like try to implement the S curve here as well? So you see those are like spine based. Also, the neck is kind of long. We actually talked about insects yesterday, and I think I've, uh, like, I was looking off stream on some of the examples we've got. Especially the, um, what was the, their name again? The disgusting ones with multiple legs and sections and stuff. Dude, I'm sorry, uh, larvae? Centipedes, yeah. I think I... I think I've found uh, an appeal in those. Centipede's <laughs> heart emoji. Well, actually, talking about those, yeah, it's it's time, Sunshine. It's time. I think uh, it's it's. I'm uh. Sometimes I, I get fascinated about my own ideas. Yeah, that wood face is what I also.
is what I also think. Um, just let me just try to come up with a uh, with something that I've envisioned. First of all, I kind of have trouble to un understanding what's going on in their face, and I am afraid of doing a Google search. I have a 3D model which is pretty uh, pretty easy to understand. I love having a 3D model, really. Well, yeah, we will figure out it later. What's going on really on their head? So <laughs> I have this 3D model, and I was looking like spending more and more time looking at it, like, just figuring out the kind of its shape and the, how it go. Oh my god, the the bottom part of its. Uh, oh. That is so disgusting, Jesus. <laughs> but also kill it? I mean, we'll see, dude. Like, the idea is not to get obsessed with the, the thing itself, it's about the design. Let me perhaps try and draw it. Look, it's cheering you up. It's happy. Yeah, so the idea is to understand the the structure, really. And, uh, well, basically, yeah, that's the whole point. To have another structure understood in your visual library, so you're able to pull it off if you ever want to. If you ever want to, to draw a centipede, you're, you're welcome, like, you, you got the knowledge. I really think that that's the key for stuff at EO and, uh, Yodas and what um, Kim Jong Gi used to do. Apolismus. Up. Opalo. I'll just call you Opa. Welcome, welcome, sunshine. Thank you. Thank you for the follow. You drink a centipede, a tasty one. Mm. Today I'm kind of not a huge fan of how it looks. I don't know if I'll be able to continue. <laughs> Tasty feed. <laughs> yeah. 
Oh, yo, guys, have you heard about the... Um, um, like, the idea that we, we'll all be eating insects in the future? And how they try to kind of push it forward in the food industry? Like, the, I'm not even kidding, the protein powder made of cockroaches. Like, that's the idea, to make everything into a powder. Anything that you can um, raise, just do it into a powder and eat it. Yeah. I don't think it's working out. Yeah, of course it is dangerous. Uh, like, the documentary I watched was about uh, cockroaches, not centipedes, but... I don't know, the idea was, like, to... Uh, I guess to... I mean, dude, this, uh, that's the, the food industry, it's just... Uh, trying to make profit out of everything. They would mix as much... Um, vegetable oil sugar and, I don't know, cockroach powder into your food as they can. Yeah, me. <laughs> Alright, I need to... Oof. Just... Sunshines, appreciate the the inside of it. Like uh, that's a that's an orange or a banana. What's your take? Is that an orange or a banana? Mmm, delicious. Oh, I'm drawing on the separate thing. That's protein right there. <laughs> yeah. That's my um, after workout shake. <laughs> That's a quick afternoon snack. Just crawling out uh, under your bedroom, under your bed, waiting to get eaten. Or waiting to. Um, to consume your eyeballs where you while while you're asleep. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. We, we'll hit the the snack. People are getting hungry. People are getting out of control. People. Don't, I never see people drawing the underside of them. Actually, yeah, I mean, it's uh, kind of similar to the... to their um, back that, that you see to the upper side, but it's just... it seems like it's, uh, I don't know, a bit more soft, a bit more... Uh... Dude, I don't even want to describe this thing. It's enough for me to just... It's enough of me looking at it and drawing it. I don't need to have much more thought about them. Hmm. Here it is not even about the... Like the spinal armor, it's even it's more about the legging legs that they're like long and then they repeat themselves very 
for a very like long throughout the whole body. That's the idea, I guess. That's the appeal if there is any. Shrimp Lobster. I will get into those. Like, those guys are also fun. Nicer face to look at also. <laughs> I... <laughs> well... And they're definitely more delicious and uh, cutesy, I guess. Alright, but the idea is not to... You guys are uh, getting it all wrong. The idea is not the the insect itself. It's, uh, you know, the scientific approach. Like, what can we learn from it? How cute can we get observing it? That's the That's the idea. What an anime girl can take away from can take away take away from a centipede? That's really the question. Centipede haters. Small made from uh, Overlord. I haven't seen Overlord. Is it worth watching? I've I've heard that it is like cringe AF. Or like I, I don't know. I've definitely heard something that it, that kept me from watching the the series. You love Overlord? Wasn't there like a girl with horns there as well? Who's just like the fan favorite. But for some reason she's like absolutely trivial to the to the show itself. Too long it takes too much uh, for seasons to come out. But that's like basically every anime. <laughs> But it's good, alright. You know guys that I'm getting a second monitor pretty time soon, so that means that I'm able to finally perhaps watch some anime on, on my second monitor while drawing. Alright, the idea was... Huh. Let me try this out. Well, now we actually get to study it. Many characters, uh, every new season comes out, need to watch a recap to remember who is who. Uh, that ain't a problem if you watch all at once. Oh man, the... The upper, like the facial tentacles are just so spine-like looking. 
but with no no fun bones aside. Is the first season old? Uh, the first season of Overlord? Because I think uh, I've been hearing about this show for like a while now, so I assume it's pretty old at this point. Fourteen. Fourteen, fifteen, all right. Not that old. Oh, that's a pretty interesting, pretty interesting uh, angle or I don't know perspective on drawing guys.
I think you're you know where I'm getting it with those uh centipede tentacles. I wonder how should I incorporate like the the actual feature of the the thing. I mean the feature I was thinking it was like the spine pattern of like those uh little armored bits, but it's really about just the, the number of legs and the shape of it. So how should it be incorporated like into a, an enemy girl? Where can um, a cutesy enemy girl take uh, taking the centipede? Where can it benefit from it? Human centipede? No, no, no. That's uh, it's a little bit out of the out of Twitch comfort zone. It has not to be like too distracting of the original shape. It just has to be like somewhere in the middle. 